Association of Professional Wrestling, featuring the top stars from the world's largest governing body, the National Wrestling Alliance. Hello, I'm Charlie Pratt, welcoming you once again to Southeastern Television Wrestling. And what a lineup we have on television today. The Rat Patrol Incorporated will be in action. You'll also be seeing Boomer Lynch, uh, some interesting videotaped highlights of uh, matches from throughout the Southeastern Wrestling area. Also, Scott Armstrong in action, the Lord Humongous, and a host of others. An outstanding hour of Southeastern Television Wrestling coming your way. And certainly we want you to uh, make your plans to stay with us. Coming out to join me now... The Tennessee stud, Ron Fuller, and uh, is... Uh, I got just a few more minutes. Rather, you got just a few more minutes, you mongers. I'm going to reveal your identity, boy. I'm giving you to the end of this program to get over here and straighten things out with a stable, or, boy, you're going to be going the hard road. Uh, Please, got that, something that, you want to say, dude. I negotiated with you in this station in good faith, trying to buy that piece of film that I do not want shown. And now I understand that Bob Armstrong has been able to purchase that film. Even though I offered more money, I offered twice the amount that Bob Armstrong paid for that film. When I'm going to tell you something, I'm going to tell Bob Armstrong something. You ain't going to show no film out here today of Bob Armstrong taking my mask off. Not today, not next week, or the following week, or any other time. Do you understand me? You better understand me. I've been nice up until this point. Don't make me turn violent. That uh, property is, uh, the film in question is a property of Bob Armstrong, uh, purchased by Mr. Armstrong, and uh, he has the right, if he wishes, to show that uh, particular piece of videotape, and that's coming up later on today's edition of Southeastern Television Wrestling. All in all, a great hour in store. You stay with a special personality profile will be coming your way a little later on in today's program. Right now, right now let's go to the ring for our first match of the day. And this event will be one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing in the ring now Steve Struggs and Chris Jarvis. Struggs and Jarvis. One fall with a 10 Their opponents now in the ring, the Rat Patrol Incorporated, Steve Armstrong and Johnny Rich. One fall, 10-minute time limit on this opening match for television today. Tag team action. It'll be Chris Jarvis starting off uh, against Johnny Rich. Collar and elbow. Quick arm drag takedown by Rich now barring the left arm of Chris Jarvis. Interesting matches coming up in the arena. One will be a special steel cage match. Ooh, hip toss takedown. Good move by Rich. And back into that arm drag and barring the left arm again of Chris Jarvis. The Rat Patrol incorporated against the Nightmares in a steel cage match that uh, is coming up in the arena. And it's always unusual circumstances for a title to go on the line the southeastern tag titles will be at stake in this cage match good hip toss take down by rich quick arm drag staying with that left arm of chris jarvis and tags in partner steve armstrong Later on in today's program, you'll be seeing the other member of the Rat Patrol, Scott Armstrong, in singles action. And what a successful team they are, the Rat Patrol Incorporated. Rich and Armstrong uh, continuing to key on that left arm of Chris Jarvis. And 
and uh, it'll be interesting to see. I, well, I really don't think they... <laughs> It would be interesting to see if the Lord Humongous were to come out on today's program and straighten things out, so to speak, with Ron Fuller in the stud stable. Look at this, Armstrong holding his man up for body slam. I don't think uh, Mr. Fuller needs to count on uh, the Lord Humongous coming out and straightening things out with the stable. I think he's perfectly happy where he is. Tag is made now with Steve Struggs. And as far as the flame and uh, the comments he made moments ago about the film will not be shown, uh, he did threaten court action uh, restraining order to uh, hold uh, that tape from last week. And yes, Bob Armstrong has purchased the videotape in question. Steve Armstrong going after that left arm of Steve Struggs. Armstrong has purchased that uh, piece of videotape, which is uh, revealing in more way than one of the flame. And Bob has said that it will be shown on today's edition of Southeastern Television Wrestling. Look at that, going to the air, Steve Armstrong, beautifully executed flying drop kick on Chris Jarvis. Tag is made with Johnny Rich. Rich and Armstrong now, both going to the air. Double drop kick. One count. And it seems the Rap Patrol not ready to pin Chris Jarvis, taking their man up high into that suplex. The strategy here, well, Struggs coming in to break that one up. Strategy here, continuing with the match instead of going for the pin, could be uh, getting a lot of experience and tuning up for the big cage match coming up in the arena with the Nightmares for those Southeastern Tag Team Championships. Certainly a match that the Rapids will want to be at their best for. Steve Armstrong, arm twist barring the left arm of Chris Jarvis. And Steve Armstrong in the wrong corner right now. Tag is made with Struggs. Struggs in. Begins to pound away at the back of the head of Steve Armstrong. And coming out now, the U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion, Bill Ash. You know, you've been having guest commentators. Well, I want to be your guest commentator today. I know that just thrills you and overjoys you, Char um, Charlie Platt. Uh, you can say that again. Uh, right now, the Rap Patrol Incorporated, a team in which you're familiar with. Uh, Very familiar with. They're uh, having a good showing right now against the team of Steve Struggs and Chris Jarvis. And... I noticed a couple of times Johnny Rich and Steve Armstrong could obtain the pin on these men, but it seems like they're wanting the experience. They're tuning up for the big cage match in the arena. I think they're so frustrated and got so much anger built up in them that they're looking for a release and an outlet, you know, and that, that can go either way. That can either put them over the edge or can cause them to make mistakes. And against a team like the Nightmares, you don't make mistakes or you're gone. Well, you're correct there. And uh, with the uh, shoe on the other foot, so to speak, two counts, and Chris Jarvis breaks it up. The Nightmares can't make any uh, mistakes against the Rap Patrol either. When, when a man has got that adrenaline high and that's, that, that blood's flowing, you make a mistake against him and he'll put you away. <laughs> and, I, and I will say this, John Rich, the Armstrongs, they are capable of putting a man away at any time. I've got to give them that. Into that bear hug. Now look at that. Oh, he took his head off. <laughs> Saved by JR, and that's it. It is over your winners. The Rap Patrol Incorporated very effectively defeating the team of Steve Struggs and Chris Jarvis. Did you notice right there, Johnny Rich was looking at the camera and he was saying, that's you, Nightmares, that's you, Nightmares. See, that's just what I was saying. They've got so much rage and frustration built up inside them. They're ready to explode. 
Well, uh, they exploded. We'll be in a hey, get out of here! Well, Never! Uh, just show up and call back to your hole! They exploded might be when uh, the, team, uh, the teams of Iraq Patrol face the nightmares. And speaking of the South Tag Team Champions, they're coming out to join me now. Tag team and wrestling today. Billy, I'm so glad I had you come out here and add a little class to the show, man. Yes. <laughs> you know, we got a little film we want to show. Roll that tape. We want to see it. Let's go to the arena now and take a look at the Rap Patrol uh, in action against the Southeastern Tag Team Champions. Now look at that. Hey, look at that right there. What, hey, what this film is not showing is the elite, the foreign object that Steve Armstrong pulled out of his tights to bust my partner's head up. That's right, baby. Happened. I don't think the uh, object in question was originally on the possession of Steve Armstrong, but possibly one of the nightmares. But it looks to me like an adult move down. You see right there on the tape. What is he doing? He's he's hitting with his fist. He's biting. Now look, what does he do? He slams the referee. What kind of sportsmanship is that? Well, things uh, did get uh, way out of hand, and that is an understatement in this particular match that we're reviewing now. And I think the Rap Patrol had had about as much as they could take of, of anybody, the nightmares especially, in this particular night. First of all, Charlie Platt, let me explain something to you. We had to chase those boys all over the arena, everywhere where they, and people went, baby. We had to chase them because they kept running from us. Do you understand what I'm saying? We could not keep them in the ring. They're well, cowards, man. They're nothing but cowards. Upcoming in the arena, you'll, you won't have that problem at all. Wait a minute. You out here to interview to interrupt. We're out here. To, this is our time. The champions get TV time, and we're taking it now. You sit there and be quiet, and watch how we're fixing to get ready to beat these boys' butts. You understand, don't you? Well, we got to sit there. Using the they want to pull off the mask. Sun rip one. Use a fire knock to bust somebody's head. Now, look at them. That's illegal. They can't do that. And all of because what the people are witnessing right here, that's why we the nightmares. That's why we made the challenge for the cage match. You understand? We made the challenge, and those fools accepted it. And to show you what fools they are, look, you see? This is another reason we have the cage match, to keep idiots like that Scott Armstrong from jumping in the ring. He's just like his old cheating dirty daddy, comes in throwing feast in, in, in a ring and shouldn't even be out there. That's right. They can't make the sides even, you know. They've always got to have someone interfering. Well, that's why we asked for this cage, to keep people like Scott Armstrong from interfering in our matches. We want the Rat Patrol two on two, baby, just like it should be. We don't want Scott Armstrong out there. It'd be hard for the U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion Bill Ash to interfere, too, wouldn't you say? Well, Bill Ash never interferes. He was out there uh, right no. then just to make the sides even. Well, let me look at him. We've That's seen right. that uh, time after time. And Who are you, Sidney Lawford, time after time? What's the matter with you? We came in this area and we said we were going to be the Southeastern Champions. And what did we do our first title shot? We beat the Rat Patrol and we are the Southeastern Champions. We are the greatest team that has ever been okay. here. And now, we're back from the film. I want to show you something. This is the mask that is going to cost the Rat Patrol their career. Look at this right now, here, Let us explain something to you people. This is not a regular cage match. This is a specialty cage match. It is a nightmare cage match because it's going to make all the Rat Patrol's worst dreams come true. That's right. Now, what it amounts to, most cages are for what? To keep people from getting in the cage, like Scott Armstrong comes up in our match, right? right? Well, this is a little different cage match. It can go one fall, it can go 10 falls, it can go 50, it can go an hour, it can go any length of time. Because to win the match, you have to get a pinfall. You have to get a one, two, three. And then right that very moment, not five minutes away, but right that very moment, you have to get up and try to climb over the top of that cage, not through a door, but over the top of that right. cage, onto the floor, and then if, and that's a big if, the Rat Patrol can win these bouts. But this is a nightmare cage match. We've never lost one. That's They've got to get a win. Up. Now, if they get a win, it still goes further. This way, this is our match. This is our ball game. You understand? It's our ballpark. If they get a win, one, two, three, and somebody starts over that cage, if he's pulled down off of that cage back into the ring, it starts all over. He has to get another win to get out of the ring, another pinfall to get out of the ring. It's just almost like a Texas death match ruse is what it is. But baby, let me tell you something. This is our type of match. We've been in at least 20 or 30 of these matches, matches over our careers. And not once have we lost. And that's a promise, Rep Patrol. You signed the bottom line, you just signed your life away, baby, because we 
The nightmares are the best at any kind of matches. And since we are the champions, and since you did want a chance at these titles again, these were our stipulations. You had to abide by those stipulations, and baby, that's the way it works. If you want to play in our backyard, you play by our rules. So remember, boys, remember, if you want to turn on the oven, you better be ready to cook, because we're going to kick your butts, whatever it takes. And you'll, you won't come out of that cage walking, you're going to come out on a stretcher, baby. And I'm going to tell you right now, it'll be the end of the Ref Patrol. That's a promise. It'll be the nightmare forever. It'll be the nightmare's greatest That's night. right, baby. It's, it's going to be our nightmare. Talk everywhere. everywhere. We'll be back in just a moment. Hello, this is Alvo Redbacher, Buffer from Miss King Furniture. Many of you have been popping your corns while walking from store to store when you've run out of cash or run out of credit. Well, I have good news for you. Mr. King will sell you living rooms, bedrooms, TVs, and stereos for just $10 down, and we will approve your credit, even if you're on Social Security or have been turned down elsewhere. Now, this may sound corny, but Mr. King will help you get started in the credit world today. Thank you. Father's Day is coming, and what gifts are waiting at Midfield Auto Sales? Put your father behind the wheel of a car priced to fit your budget, and we'll add absolutely free a Pepsi barbecue grill, 10 pounds of Southeastern's ribs, and plenty of Pepsi. With our $3 million inventory of cars, trucks, vans, and 4x4s, we've got the very car he wants and the very terms to suit his needs. Celebrate Father's Day with a purchase from Midfield Auto Sales, and we'll add absolutely free a Pepsi grill, delicious ribs, and Pepsi drinks. Bring the family out to Midfield Auto Sales, 506 Bessemer Superhighway, the giant auto supermarket. W-A-G-G -G with gospel to start your day. Reverend Theo Bailey with the sounds of heaven. At 10, the Reverend James E. Jackson takes over the celebration of the Lord. The greatest in gospel continues with Sister Marcia Dow at 2, bringing you sons of joy and praise. W-A-G-G, -G, 1320 on your AM dial with gospel the way it's supposed to be. I'm proud of the teamwork it took to win the 400-meter relay in the Olympics. It's the same kind of teamwork that makes the Air Force a winner. See your Air Force recruiter. Find out how you can be a part of the Air Force high-tech team. Aim high. Air Force. A special night of pro wrestling this coming Monday night, 8 o'clock in Birmingham's Boutwell Auditorium. Eight big events in all, headlined by two steel cage matches. You'll see a U.S. junior title match as the Rap Patrol takes on Bill Ash. Special event, Randy Pinton takes on The Flame. Texas death match rules as Porkchop Cash goes against Boomer H. Lynch. Return, Southeastern Heavyweight Championship match. Austin Idol takes on Jimmy Goldwyn. Steel cage match, Southeastern tag titles on the line. The Rap Patrol takes on the Nightmares. And steel cage match number two. The Lord Humongous teams with Bob Armstrong to take on NWA World Heavyweight Champion Ric Flair and his partner Ron Fuller. Don't miss it. It all begins at 8 o'clock this Monday night in Birmingham's Boutwell Auditorium. All of those matches plus two other television matches Monday night in Boutwell Auditorium, a history-making night. It will be the first night of Continental Championship Wrestling to be taped in Boutwell Auditorium. The NWA and other camera uh, crews will be on hand taping all the events. Eight big matches in all, only a $1 increase in admission, and the host for Continental Championship Wrestling will be Gordon Soley. That's Monday night in Balfour Auditorium. A lot is at stake for the Rat Patrol in the steel cage and U.S. junior title. Right now, let's hear from the Nightmares and Bill Ash. You know, I've got a title offense, but that's already a foregone conclusion. What I'm really interested in is the demise of the Rat Patrol. You've heard of rats in a trap? Well, you're in a trap, boys. A big steel cage trap with the best tag team in wrestling today. That's right, baby. And what a better way to start off with a first taping, baby. With Gordon Soley there, the whole entire world is going to view this. Right, and we baby. are going to demise a Rat Patrol right there. What a way, our glory. It will be all ours, baby. You be there, Rat Patrol, in that cage match. You know, in the Rat Patrol, they have other plans for that's, Monday night. That's exactly right, Charlie. You know, the Rat Patrol's tickled to death to be in on this card. It's the biggest card ever in Montgomery. A lot of excitement. Big camera crews, Gordon Soley, NWA. Everything's happening in Birmingham. Well, something's going to be happening for you, Mr. Bill Ash. You see this right here, brother? That's a star. Get used to it. You're going to be seeing a lot of them, especially come Monday night in Birmingham. Tell them about it, boys. 
Steve, anything can happen in that steel cage. It sure can, but the one thing we got in our favor is we all three have a stiff training regimen. We jog uh, seven days a week, so we're in real good shape, and uh, we hope we can come through uh, on top out of this thing. Uh, I'm predicting a lot of blood, and it's going to be all in the nightmares. What do you say, Johnny? Charlie, you know, they, these boys, they, they've kind of got their own rules for this cage match. Well, we don't care because the bottom line is they put the belts up. And that's exactly what we've been after. We've been trying to get them. They've been running. They've been hiding. Well, this time, they're going to be in the cage, and they can't run and hide. All they can do is get in there and get their butts kicked like they've been getting them kicked, and then we're going to climb over the top of that cage and walk away out of that bite well auditorium with them belts around our waist where they belong. Ladies and gentlemen, this event, one fall with a 10-minute time limit. One fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing, first of all, Boomer H. Lynch. Boomer Lynch. His opponent, Al Scott. You know, I don't believe Boomer liked that too much when Al Scott mimicked him. Uh, it seemed to... Uh, have upset Mr. Lynch somewhat, but uh, you know, Mr. Just... Lynch has never been known that well, one that was a calm, easy-going individual. He's always been disturbed, I think, to a certain extent. Disturbed is your word. I, th I, I don't think I would agree with this word. What I think about this, man, you're talking about a 300-pound-plus man, and when you're talking about 300 pounds of muscle, which this man is, I've seen gorillas in the zoo not as big as this man. Well, that's not a man to tick off lightly. Oh, no, not at all. And uh, another member of the stud stable. Interesting note, time ticks away, and we have not heard or seen the Lord you uh, uh, television show yet to... Uh, now they did it again. That's twice he's mimicked the boomer, and that's not something that's wise to do. I'm telling you, Charlie Platt, that's not the smart thing for that man to do. Shot an elbow. And it's uh, Boomer Lynch going to the ring ropes. Al Scott countering back. Scott down. Good oh, move oh, by Al Scott. He put the big man down on the canvas. And he has Mr. Lynch. Uh, I'd be ducking and friendly. diving too if that big man was after me like that. Now where's he going to go? Now where's he going to go? Well, so far it's paying off. <laughs> yeah, but it, ah, not now. Not now. Here to smack of those big forearms on flesh. I guarantee you, you're going to hear some more smacks. Hear that? Hear that big meaty forearm applied to Al Scott's back? I guarantee you, you're going to hear more smacks on Al Scott's body before Boomer Lynch gets through with him today. You don't do that and antagonize a man like Boomer Lynch without paying the price. Choking now, going with the boot to the throat. That's 300 pounds a man standing with his foot in your windpipe. Now, how would that feel? Not good at all, would it, Charlie Black? Uh, I would not think so. And there you see the gorilla squeeze, as he calls it. Look, it's got to be all over right here, the gorilla squeeze. And that bear hug. Look at that, and he's enjoying it. Pressure. Boomer's enjoying putting the squeeze on that man. Look at it. And he, oh, with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex to finish it off. That's it. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. I Blaine told you. Going for the pinfall. He antagonized Boomer, and that's not. The, he's going to pay the price for it. Oh, all that weight coming down across right the back. Right across the small of the back of that. Now countering from the other side. Oh. Yeah, Boomer Lynch. Well, Way down with that weight into the back of Al Scott. Yes. Boomer Lynch is sending a message out right here. He's saying, don't, don't, don't ever make fun of me. And, oh, again, belly oh. to belly suplex. He allowed the pin that time. He allowed the three count. And your winner of the match from South Africa, Boomer H. Lynch, a member of the Stud Stable. A lot more great action to come on today's edition of Southeastern Television Wrestling. You stay with us. 
There will be some changes in television professional wrestling beginning next week. The changes are that Southeastern Championship Wrestling will become Continental Championship Wrestling. It will involve one of the biggest studio, the, the biggest uh, studio audience for television wrestling. It will be originating live from Birmingham's Boutwell Auditorium on Continental uh, Championship Wrestling. You'll be seeing all your favorite wrestling stars that you see uh, week in and week out on Southeastern Championship Wrestling. The difference will be, it will be Continental Championship Wrestling, once again originating at the biggest television studio for wrestling, Balfour Auditorium in Birmingham. And next week on the program, the host will be syndicated wrestling uh, commentator, the greatest Gordon Soley. He'll be bringing you each week Continental Championship Wrestling. In addition to the great stars that you'll be seeing from Southeastern Championship Wrestling in action on the first edition of Continental Wrestling, stars like the Tennessee stud Ron Fuller, the Universal Heartthrob Austin Idol, Bob Armstrong, the Lord Humongous, all your favorite stars, plus NWA World Heavyweight Champion Ric Flair will be in to kick off Continental Championship Wrestling. And it all takes place next week on this television station. It'll be uh, a great uh, event for you to be part of the first week of Continental Championship Wrestling uh, with uh, commentator host Gordon Soley beginning next week. Continental Championship Wrestling will be taking the place of Southeastern Championship Wrestling. And uh, not to confuse you, but uh, just tell you once again that the Continental Championship Wrestling is the same as Southeastern Wrestling. The name has changed. The arena will be a big setting, a Balfour Auditorium in Birmingham, Alabama. Gordon Soley will be the host. So be sure you're part of a history-making event next week as Continental Championship Wrestling will be seen on all of these television stations. More great action to come on today's edition of Southeastern Championship Wrestling. Uh, a lot of action is taking place in the arenas throughout the Southeastern Wrestling area right now. And certainly uh, a problem that has erupted has been uh, a match that's been uh, taking place between Porkchop Cash and Boomer H. Lynch. There's no problem. There's no problem. First of all, I want to say this. Why does the promotion insist on putting me in the ring with black men? Don't they understand what country I'm from? We uh, have some video taken We've got right some now. video, and I'm going to show you a loser. I'm going to show you a loser. Now, you watch me clobber pork chop cash. Lucky punch. There's a lucky punch. He's obviously just used his headbutt on me with his illegal head. Illegal. Otherwise, I'd have been tearing him apart right now. Illegal head. That's uh, a couple of lucky time. punches there. Another lucky punch. Just waiting for me to get up my strength. There's that illegal head again. There's a perfectly legal head, but... Uh, no, 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 that's got to be illegal. Otherwise, you wouldn't see me going down from it. So you see it again. I see no problem in anything that's uh, taking place in the ring. I don't so either. far, there is some uh, problem right now. Down. Right. Okay. Complain to the referees about the illegal head. And I cold cock cash. One, two, three. No help. No help. Just a straight devastating punch. I think uh, that's Actually, it was even open-handed. It was just like that. Okay, I think that videotape uh, told the whole story on what did take place. Your friend the Flame coming down to lend his assistance. And no, no, there was no assistance. My friend the Flame came down to point out to the officials that Chops was using an illegal headbutt. And when he did that, then I took advantage of, the, of, of, of Fort Chop Cash's stupidity and turning his back on me, and I came up and I hit him with a punch and knocked him out. Uh, the tape tells the whole story, and that was what did take place between uh, Fort Chop Cash and Boomer H. Lynch recently in the arena. There's more great action to come on Southeastern Television Wrestling. You stay with us. <laughs> relief from athlete's foot? Feel the Desinex difference. And there is a difference because medicated Desinex does more than just cure athlete's foot. Want cooling, soothing relief? Feel the Desinex difference. Desinex soothes burning feet, cools tender feet. Want relief from cracked, itchy feet? Feel the Desinex difference. Desinex relieves itching, gives real foot comfort, and used daily, Desinex helps prevent reinfection. Feel the Desinex difference. It might be dry weather, but it's wet and muddy at off-road west over.
this Sunday. Mud will be slinging. Wedding bells will be ringing. It's a first time ever. Wedding in the mud. Yes, you heard it right. A real wedding. The South Fastest, four before, competing side by side on the long three-quarter mile mud track. Bring the entire family this Sunday to Off-Road Westover. Wedding at 1 p.m. Racing at 2 p.m. You ain't mud you ain't living. For your TV needs, call 328-8736. For your stereo needs, call 328-8736. For your appliance needs, call 328-8736. For all your household needs, call 328-8736. Quick TV and Appliance Rentals rent to buy plan can get you what you need today. Just call 328-8736 or visit 1506 2nd Avenue North, across from Sears. You're seeing a lot more Spirit tags on the road these days. That's because we make fair, honest deals at Spirit. And we give discounts on Datsuns, Nissans, Chryslers, Plymouths, Dodge cars, Dodge trucks. And we have a full line of used cars. We're just a short drive from Brookwood Village on Highway 280 East. And our low, low prices make it well worth the trip. We have the cars, we have the prices, and we want your business. Spirit, Datsun, Nissan, Chrysler, Plymouth, Dodge. Highway 280 East, Sylacauga. In Birmingham, call 252-4800. Tonight, Birmingham's Valpo Auditorium, a lot of wrestling history will be made. The premiere of Continental Championship Wrestling with Gordon Soley. We've already talked about a very uh, unusual cage match. Southeastern tag titles on the line with unusual rules on top of that between the Rapitol and the Nightmares and another history-making event, steel cage match with the NWA World Heavyweight Champion Ric Flair teaming with Ron Fuller to take on this pair, Bob Armstrong and the Lord Humongous. Bob Geigel has a big interest in this, and it stems from things that happened last Monday night. Well, it got real wild, and Bob Geigel feels responsible, but he feels that this cage match in which the world champion will be involved as partners with Tennessee Stud for the first time ever, he feels that this cage match will settle all our problems, and it will for me, because I'm going to tell you something. He put that figure four on me while I was handcuffed and couldn't do anything about it, but you didn't break the bullet's leg. It's just, you've got to learn that the bullet and humongous can take a licking and keep on ticking. So, Flair, you're going to be back. I know he wouldn't be in this cage at all, but Bob Geigel said you will be there, and he will be there Monday night. A lot of history to be made. And the NWA World Heavyweight Champion partners with Ron Fuller in a cage match. Well, the World Heavyweight Champion has some comments about that. Let's hear them right now. It's all coming to Birmingham. You will see the tag team combination of Nature Boy Ric Flair, the NWA World Heavyweight Champion in a cage along with the Tennessee stud Ron Fuller as they team up in this cage to take on the Lord Humongous and Bob Armstrong. Here's the heavyweight champion of the world, Ric Flair. All right, Tony, by now the whole world knows what came down. I had Bob Armstrong in a position where surely I would have broken one of those skinny legs. And the Lord Humongous stuck his nose in my business for the last time. I don't care how big and how powerful you are, Lord Humongous, and how sneaky and how crafty you are, Bob Armstrong, there's only one Tennessee stud. There's only one Ric Flair, and the two of them together are going to cause havoc in Birmingham, Alabama. I don't think Birmingham or any other city in the world is big enough for what's coming down Monday nights. The cage! Lord Humongous, have you ever had that mask jerked off your face? And have your face rubbed in metal? Bob Armstrong, have you ever had 40 stitches here and there? Have you ever been cut? Have you ever bled? Have you ever paid the price? Well, Monday night, the Tennessee Stud and I are going to take you both all the way to the limit. <laughs> I enjoyed that interview. You told him like it was, Rick, baby, but you missed one thing. Bob Armstrong can bleed. We know that. He bled last Monday night. But that's nothing compared to what you're going to bleed this Monday night in the cage. And me and you have been everywhere around the world together, right, Rick? We've been partners many, many times before. But Monday night in the cage in Boutwell, we're going to take care of Bullet Bob Armstrong. We're going to pull your legs through that cage and saw them off. And you're right, Flair. We're going to take that mask off of you, you mongers, and grind your face, boy, like hamburger, mate. Hamburger meat in that cage. 
We're looking forward to it. Me and the world champion side by side. Never been a better pair in the ring. In the cage, you going down, Armstrong, and you too, humongous Monday night. No handcuffs Monday night, but there is a steel cage with all four men inside. That's right, and like Goggle said, this should settle it all. The world champion is very upset. Tennessee Stud is very excited. For the first time, they will be partners in Boutwell. And with all this stuff going on, Charlie, all the cameras from everywhere, we're going to take advantage of that. Lord Humongous and Bullet Bob are going to take advantage of it by beating the Tennessee Stud and Ric Flair. We can kill two birds with stun one stone, two buzzards, so to speak. We've been through it all. I can't believe I got, I got a hole in my head, and I know before that cage match is over, a lot of people are going to bleed. But it's worth every drop of blood I have to shed to put your shoulders on the mat, Ric Flair. And before it's over, Tennessee Stud, you'll rue the day that you ever took a dime from the Lord Humongous. Because Monday night in Boutwell, the true battle of Boutwell, it all comes to pass, and they're going to have it all on film. A picture's worth a thousand words, and we'll take that picture Monday night in Boutwell. Count on it. Two steel cage matches. We've talked about the one, the Rat Patrol against the Nightmares, and uh, the second steel cage match will be unusual circumstances, the NWA World Heavyweight Champion and tag team competition with Ron Fuller as his partner facing the team of Bullet Bob Armstrong and the Lord Humongous. A history-making night in Balfour Monday night, and a lot of score, sto scores will be settled from last Monday night in Balfour Auditorium at 8 o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, this event won fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing first of all, Tommy Crosby. Tommy Crosby. His opponent now making his way to the ring, a member of the Rap Patrol Incorporated, Scott Armstrong. Scott Armstrong moving out against Tommy Crosby. Still to come, action from the Lord Humongous today. And, uh... The Lord Humongous has yet to come out to our broadcast uh, desk and throw in the towel, so to speak, and smooth things over with the Tennessee Stud Stable. Not that we actually look for him to do that, but that was a warning issued by Fuller early on. Full body slam by Crosby. Yes, he is, and Scott Armstrong, no stranger to you. Not at all. Take down Armstrong now, scooping his man up, full body slam, and what a match we have going here. Scott, Scott Armstrong against uh, Tommy Crosby. You know what happened? Mr. Armstrong was a little overconfident because he knew the young man was a little was inexperienced, and he went in there with that edge not on to let the man make make a move on him. But then he came, then he came back. I, that's one thing that when you're been wrestling a while that you've got to watch against, and that's complacency in that ring. Because Scott Armstrong is capable of putting a man away if you give him the chance. I know because he's I've been in that ring with him enough times. Good, good break, uh, clean break on the part of Armstrong and Crosby. Again into grips is Armstrong with the top wrist lock, putting the pressure on it. Let's see if this young man knows some uh, reversal or a switch out of this hole. Uh, I believe he does. He sure did. He switched it right into an ammo lock. Very good. Let's look at Armstrong. Yep. Right back on that arm. Now, that's the mark of a veteran in that ring, a man that, and even though Scott Armstrong maybe has not spent that many years in the ring, he grew up in a wrestling family. Yes, which he did. Yeah, that contributes a lot. When you get a hold or you get a particular part of the body, keep coming back to it. Keep coming back Stay to it. The body's got key. that five balance points. And you wear one of those balance points down, and that's exactly what Scott Armstrong's doing. He's got on, he's decided to go for that arm, and he's going to stay on that arm. And the young man, Thorsby, has, is that his name, Thorsby? Crosby. Crosby, okay. And this young man, Crosby, has made, has made some nice moves to get out, but Armstrong has switched right back in, back to that arm every time. Over on the ropes, Larry Brock uh, almost caught it to break it. Armstrong up and over his neck. Whoa, going to the air. With that drop kick. 
and he just barely oh, got those almost. shoulders off fact, the mat. those uh, boots came down, I thought uh, possibly the three count there. Full body slam. You know, wrestling, oh, that knee across the upper upper chest and the lower throat area Again, is vicious. Crosby almost comes out of that. He's a tough one. You know, a, a comment on body slams. Wrestling fans see body slams and they see them. I don't think people realize just how devastating when you're picked up six foot in the air and you're slammed down on that floor. You feel it in your lungs. You feel it in your heart. Even your kidneys hurt. That's on the body slam. Oh, he caught him with a good, four, a good elbow right on the button. And brother, you get hit on the button just right, you're out. That's it. Side headlock by Crosby, clamping down with the pressure on Scott Armstrong. He's trying to take a point away, too, and as you know, one of my favorite points is that head. You take that man's thinking ability away, and you've got it. All in all, how would you judge this match thus far, Mr. Ash? This, far is, uh, this is a good match so far. I'm, uh, this uh, Crosby is making a good show of this is a more experienced man. I'm, I'm surprised it's a man, to be honest. But, as you can see, I will have to give this to Scott Armstrong. He's a tenacious ooh, son of a gun. Ooh, super right. kick right on the button. One, two, three. You know, as well as I do, that's about it. In any case, when that super kick goes in, if it uh, is placed just right by Scott Armstrong, that spells uh, victory for Armstrong and uh, most times defeat for the opponent, right? I don't believe anybody's ever kicked out of Scott Armstrong's super kick. All right, uh, Mr. Ash. I don't want to be here with this man. Well, we... Well, excuse you. I got it right here, Charlie. I got the bill of sale. I bought the film. I got the film that shows the flames mask being taken off. Never before done. He raised Ken here last week, threatened a lawsuit if we showed the film. I bought the film myself. I paid for it personally. Here's your bill of sale. And I'm going to show that. Wait. Hold it. Hold it. Wait just a minute. just to show a piece of videotape, right, but it is interesting, and let's roll it. Bob, you tell the story. Here, what's happening is Lord Hugh Mongos has got a choke hold on that Tennessee stud, and it's going to take a crane to pop him loose. Everybody's beating on Hugh Mongos, trying to tear him off the stud, but like I said, he's got the choke hold. It'd take a bulldozer to get him away from that man. They're trying their best. Now, you're going to see I came in because Hugh Mongos has proved to be a good friend, and brother, I'm going to give him a hand here. We start taking names, and not necessarily in that order. We're kicking some butts, taking names, and right here, you're going to see something in just a minute. Watch the flame come right in front of your camera. There he is right there. Boomer Lynch is blinding. He's turned me around. He's got me pretty good. Now, you're going to watch what happens. He always says he don't throw the flame. Watch where this fire comes from. I just got out of the way. I was going to burn my eyes out. Now, right here, I, I just took it into my own hand. I said, brother, you're going to pay the price. I'm going to take that mask off and show everybody who you are. I started working on that mask right here. The laces, and brother, he's got one of the tightest lace masks. He loves to protect that mask. But I am got, I got my fingers in him, Charlie, and I am pulling, and I am ripping. And in just a minute, you're going to see they try to pull him out, but they didn't make it in time. Just as they pulled, the mask popped off, and there I had the mask. All I saw was black curly hair. But everybody saw that black curly hair, and that's just a warning to you, Flame. Every time I see you, brother, I'm going to be going for that mask, and that mask is going to come off one way or the other. Right there. He can like it or like it. Thank you, gentlemen, very much. Let's get out of here. All right, there you see the incident that took place. Bob Armstrong purchasing that piece of videotape. They've got more Southeastern Television Wrestling on the way. You stay with us. If you're going to play the computer game, play to win. For more information about Herzing's career training, call 933-8536. Whether you're a weekend do-it-yourself or, or a contractor, your one-stop place for everything for your home is at 95 3rd Avenue North. That's the home of Walls and All, Defiant Stoves and Fans, and Floor Shows of Birmingham. Walls and Alls has all stock wallpaper 30% off, wood paneling, 4x8 sheet, $9.75. Defiance has ceiling fans starting at $39. Floor Shows has 50 square yards of carpeting installed and includes padding for only $449 plus tax. That's Defiant Stoves and Fans, Floor Shows of Birmingham, and Walls and All. 95 3rd Avenue North, two blocks from Legion Field.
Save hundreds on America's most popular cars at McGee Dodge Midfield. 1984 Omni's Alliances and Escorts for just $54.90. That's loaded 84 Omni's Alliances and Escorts for just $54.90. With automatic transmission and factory air, plus many other desired options. You can take them up, up, and away with our on-the-spot financing that's faster than a speeding bullet. And our available Chrysler back service agreement is stronger than a locomotive. McGee Dodge is joined the Chrysler Revolution with the best priced and best back used cars in America. Shop McGee Dodge, 549 Bessemer Super Highway Midfield. It's Southeastern Wrestling, Monday night, Bumble Auditorium, Birmingham, 8 p.m., and it's Steel Cage Night. In Cage 1, Rick Flair and Ron Fuller versus Bob Armstrong and Lord Humongous. In Steel Cage number 2, the Southeastern Tag Title as Rat Patrol Incorporated versus the Nightmares. Also, the Southeastern Title's on the line as Austin Idol takes on Jimmy Golden. Don't miss it. Monday night, 8 p.m., Bumble Auditorium, Southeastern Wrestling at its best. Need relief from athlete's foot? Feel the Desinex difference. Medicated Desinex does more than just cure athlete's foot. Relieves cracked, itchy feet. Gives real foot comfort. Certainly an eventful night this coming Monday night in Balboa Auditorium. The first night for Continental Championship Wrestling at 8 o'clock. Eight big events in all. Only a $1 increase in admission. One of those uh, big double cage matches will include the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. And it'll be the first night for the taping of Continental uh, Championship Wrestling with Gordon Soley. It all starts at 8 o'clock in Balboa Auditorium. A big night for Austin Idol. He'll be going after the Southeastern title of Jimmy Golden. And uh, Pork Chop Cash taking on Boomer Lynch. Texas Deathmatch rules. Let's hear from Lynch and, uh, of course, some comments from Jimmy Golden. <laughs> Jimmy, you know, I, I don't like to say bad things about my opponents, but if you notice, Pork Chop Cash looks a lot like a little ape. <laughs> well, we know he can't be any smarter than one if he's going to challenge me to a Texas death match. He's got to be a real goose. You know, he's going around and around circles. He's like a little dog chasing his tail around and around. He don't know which direction he's going, and neither do you, Austin Idol. Take a good look right here, brother. I wonder who the big baby is this week, the Kirby baby that's sucking on the bottle and saying, why, he stole my breath. Brother, you signed a no disqualification match, and that means I can do anything that I want to do. When we step in the bow wheel, you be ready for a fight, brother. I don't probably the biggest night in bow wheel, but it will not all be well for Jimmy Golden. Oh, yes, Gordon Soley, national syndicated television announcer, will be there. Oh, yes, cameras from all over the city, people from all over the country coming to cover this extravaganza. And I'm telling you one thing, Jimmy Golden, if you don't think, baby, that I'm fired up about it, then you're dead wrong. If you don't think that I don't know my direction, my direction, then you're dead wrong. Because on Monday night, baby, I'm going to teach you something about Austin Island. You say, school is out. But school is going to be in for you, baby. I'm going to teach you R-E-S-P-E-C-T. It's called Respect Southern Style Bowell. Come on, get some. Ladies and gentlemen, this event, one fall television time remaining. Now entering the room, uh, ring, Lynn Burt. Lynn Burt. One fall television time remaining. The Alabama State Heavyweight Champion, the Lord Humongous, uh, trying to get in the ring before being attacked by this Lynn Bird. I don't know if he, oh, out on the floor he goes. He made a mistake, I would think, wouldn't you? This Lord Humongous is a truly awesome, I started to say human being, but I won't go so that far, individual. And the only way I would ever come at this man is from behind, never face on. With uh, plenty of protection on top of coming Anything from behind. Anything I could get my hands right. on. I, this I have to agree with you. Awesome. Oh. Crashing down on Lynn Burt. There comes the shin of the maki. That's it's it. over. That's it. One, two, three. What power must go into that shin of the maki? The way he effectively uses that hold, and it just puts a man completely out, Bill Ash. Well, look at this. He's just going right on out the front door of the studio. This man is truly 
Uh, I don't know. How do you describe a man um, like this? He can, uh, at his size and uh, his capabilities, he can go anywhere he chooses, that is for sure. And no doubt about that. Uh, the Lord Humongous now leaving uh, the ring, and he is victorious in this match over Lynn Burke today. Coming out now, the Tennessee stud, Ron Fuller. And, uh, You're a good commentator there, sir, Chase. Now, I told you I'm going to reveal the contents of this envelope, and I intend, hey, wait a minute, you got no business being out here. You ain't going to get this, boy. Like a jackrabbit going over that. Look at here. Look at here. Ain't nothing in there anyway. I knew this man already told me. He never took a picture of this man's face. He just put in a bluff, and we called his bluff, right, Humongous? And now, brother, you go get ripped up just like the Lord Humongous is ripping up this thing, brother. We called your bluff, brother. Ace and Aces, dead man's hand stud, over for you. Way to go, big man. We got him now. All right. No pictures in the envelope, and uh, the Tennessee stud just cleared our desk. <laughs> He certainly wants no part, it seems, of Armstrong or the Lord Humongous. We'll be back with more Southeastern Television Wrestling in a moment. I keep it on WATV. It's my favorite radio station. Put that in your book. Citizens Financial Service is your independent mortgage loan agency. We will arrange the best possible interest rate and monthly note for your loan. And best of all, our service is free. No appraisal fees, no credit fees. We can arrange any kind of loan, $2,000 and up. No credit, slow credit, bad credit, that's no problem. At Citizens, we don't talk trash, we get you cash. That's Citizens Financial Service, 786-5560. Call now. For your TV needs, call 328-8736. For your stereo needs, call 328-8736. For your appliance needs, call 328-8736. For all your household needs, call 328-8736. Quick TV and Appliance Rentals Rent-to-Buy Plan can get you what you need today. Just call 328-8736 or visit 1506 2nd Avenue North across from Sears. Aloha, hula bop for Mr. King Furniture downtown. And us native Hawaiians have an ancient expression. Ahu waka weirdo, which simply means bring just $10 down to Mr. King Furniture for stereo TVs, and we will approve your credit, even if you've never had any credit before. So as the Hawaiian sun sinks slowly in the west, I bid you a fond thank you. It was a history-making night for professional wrestling this coming Monday night in Birmingham's Balfour Auditorium. Match time is 8 o'clock. Eight big events in all, headlined by two steel cage matches, only a $1 increase in admission. U.S. Junior title, you'll see the Rapid Patrol take on Bill Ash. Special event, Randy Penton goes against the Flame. Texas Death Match rules, Pork Chop Cash against Boomer Lynch. Southeastern title return match, Austin Idol against Jimmy Golden. The Southeastern tag titles on the line in the steel cage as the Rapid Patrol takes on the Nightmares. And in the steel cage, special tag action. The Lord Humongous and Bob Armstrong will go against NWA World Heavyweight Champion Ric Flair and Ron Fuller. It all takes place Monday night, 8 o'clock in Balfour Auditorium. It will also be the first night for, South, for uh, Continental Television Wrestling. The taping in Birmingham's Balfour Auditorium beginning at 8 o'clock this coming Monday night. Only a $1 increase in admission for this outstanding lineup. And uh, your host will be Gordon Soley. Cameras from the NWA and all over the country coming in to uh, cover this big event. Right now we have some comments from uh, the Tennessee stud Ron Fuller and the Flame. <laughs> so there was nothing in the envelope. So you got, got started dumping it out and you find it was empty. Well, I want to tell you something. You all know what happened last Monday night in Bowell Auditorium, one of the wildest nights it's ever been in Birmingham. And you saw Bob Armstrong laying there when it was over, and Humongous laying there too. Well, this time my partner, 
the world champion. And he's no stranger to me in the ring. I've been partners with him in Sapporo, Japan. I've been in Kiel Auditorium, St. Louis with him. I've been in Madison Square Garden with Rick Flair at my side. He and I are a good team. We gel together. How about you, Bullet Bob and the Lord Humongous? We gonna find out in the cage Monday night. Gordon Soley's gonna be there. The whole wrestling world is gonna be there. But you boys are gonna go down in the cage and down for good. Down for good. Mark my words, Rick Flair will be backing me all the way. You're going down for good about, well, Monday night. Uh, boy, he's really excited. He says he's wrestled with Rick Flair, world heavyweight champion all over the world. But he has never wrestled with Ric Flair as his partner in Boutwell. He has never wrestled against Bullet Bob Armstrong and the Lord Humongous because they're going to have cameras from everywhere. They say NWA sending cameras, Continental Championship Wrestling sending cameras, and my good friend Gordon Soli is going to be there. And I'm happy about that, Charlie, because they're going to see Bullet Bob Armstrong beat Ric Flair right in the middle of that ring. Me and the big man have already talked about it. He's going to stretch that neck of Ron Fuller's till he is seven feet tall instead of six nine. And if all those cameras there, nobody can die, deny when I beat Ric Flair, I'll be the number one contender. We can kill two birds with one stone. Two buzzards, if you know what I mean. Rick Flair, the nature boy, the Tennessee dud, Ron Fuller, are going to fall Monday night in Batwell, and we'll have cameras from all over the nation to watch it happen. Let's do it, big man. Let's get ready right now. A history-making night, Monday night in Batwell Auditorium. turn of events on today's program regardless of what uh, the flame tried to do with his court injunction bob armstrong obtained a copy and bought a copy of that uh, videotape in which uh, it revealed it showed him taking off the mask of the flame and also the fire throwing incident and uh, the tennessee stud I did not see the lord humongous return to the stable as he had planned uh, told the stu the uh, lord humongous that he must by the end of today's program and uh, I think we all saw the incident that took place with the alleged pictures that uh, the stud did not have of the Lord Humongous in that envelope. Next week, the NWA World Heavyweight Champion Ric Flair, the Tennessee stud Austin Idol will take on Jimmy Golden for the Southeastern Heavyweight Championship on television, and also stars like uh, Tommy Wildfire Rich. It will be the premiere of Continental Championship Wrestling with Gordon Soley. That's next week. Be sure and be here. Championship Wrestling, home of the National Wrestling Alliance, featuring champions from throughout the continental United States. And now to your host, world-renowned wrestling commentator, Gordon Soley. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Continental Championship Wrestling. My thanks to my good friend Mike Jackson and what a premier program we do have in store for you this evening. You're going to be watching the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Rick Flair in action. You're also going to be seeing the plane. You'll be seeing the Tennessee stud in a Southeastern Championship match. Jimmy Gorgeous Golden going up against Austin Idol and a host of other great competitors. So by all means, do stay tuned. I can assure you of one thing. When you see the banner of Continental Championship Wrestling in the NWA, you know that you're going to see the very optimum in wrestling competition. Right now, let me bring in the NWA World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, a gentleman who has become a legend in his own time, Mr. Rick Flair. Rick, welcome aboard. Rick, thank you very much. You have to know that when the National Wrestling Alliance and Continental Championship Wrestling put this together, you're talking about one of the biggest promotions anywhere in professional wrestling. Obviously, they won the number one man here, Gordon. Yep. In this case, it applied to two men. <laughs> Gordon Soley to do the commentating and the world's heavyweight champion, Ric Flair, to do the wrestling. I'm proud to be part of it. And all you people throughout the Continental Championship Wrestling scene, be used to seeing the best the greatest stars in all of professional wrestling, and of course, 
the Big Daddy of them all, Ric Flair, whenever the price is right. Gordon, Rick, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The NWA World Heavyweight Champion three times over, Mr. Ric Flair. You're going to see him in this match upcoming against a very, very tough competitor, Joshua Stroud. May I point out that Mr. Flair it puts it all on the line every time he appears on television. Should Mr. Stroud uh, get a, pick up a, win, a pinfall or a submission hold, Mr. Flair himself is indeed in serious trouble. Let's turn it over now to our ring announcer, Mike Jackson. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first match of the evening. Special one fall with a 15-minute time limit. First of all, the challenger, weighing in at 225 pounds from Detroit, Michigan. Would you welcome Joshua Stroud? Stroud. 